Welcome to the live demo section for our GVAS manager. My name is Aaron. Uh, I'll split up this uh, live demo into four parts. The first part, I'll demonstrate how you can uh, add a DAW controller to AS manager, uh, how to uh, create users, and then also assign data groups for them. So uh, they have a different data group for assess, and also how you can set up a PDZ camera to go to one of the uh, presets when the uh, assess is granted on one of the readers. This way, uh, you can have a live view of the uh, DAW. Okay, first I'll demonstrate how to uh, add a controller to GVAS Manager. Okay, so uh, you go to your Windows, uh, C Drive, Access Control Folder, AS Manager, and then look for uh, an app called uh, GV Net Module Utility. Here, double click, run it. Okay, using this, you can search for all the uh, controllers connected on your network. So let's say uh, today I want to add a uh, GVAS1010. So from here I can check the uh, IP address uh, 192.168.1.20. So okay, so I go back to uh, AS Manager, go to Setup, Devices, click on this, Add, uh, choose a model. So uh, AS1010, click OK. And then here you can set up your uh, door. So you enable it. Here you type in the uh, IP address of the uh, controller, so 192.168.1.20. Uh, type in the uh, username and password, and then crypto key. Uh, default is a one two three four five six seven eight eight digits. Click uh, OK when done. OK. Okay, there you have the. Uh, Okay, next I'll demonstrate how to add a user to a uh, SS group for access. Okay, so let's say today I'm uh, setting up a uh, access group for uh, sales. I first go to a uh, time zone here. Okay, here you can create a new uh, schedule. Let's say for sales department 2. Okay, so here you can draw uh, depending on what time you want the uh, access to be granted to sales department 2. So you can just drag, okay, click uh, yes, okay, and then next uh, you go to your weekly schedules, and then you can add a new one, sales department 2, okay, so here you can select uh, the schedule that you just created for sales department 2, okay. Next, uh, go to uh, holidays. If you have any holidays, you can set it up here. Otherwise, uh, you can go to access groups here. Let's say uh, create a new sales department two. Okay. Same for this sales department two. So I can choose the uh, the uh, time zone for the uh, controllers each doors uh, if uh, I want to give them access or not depending on uh, what you configure for your uh, schedules so let's let's say they are restricted from entering the uh, door 3 and 4 okay so only the first door 1 and 2 door 2 of AS810 they are allowed to enter and then here you can set a data group depending on uh, which one you want so let's say data group 1 is for uh, sales department 2 as it Okay, so uh, you can here go to personnel. You can add a new user. So let's say uh, Aaron. And then here you can choose which data group. Okay, next you uh, can add a card here. Add new card. Let's say this card is for Aaron from uh, Sales Department Two. Uh, let's say I have a card number of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then here I can choose the uh, access group that I created, Sales Department 2. Okay, so as you can see, these uh, access restrictions are based on what you configured early on. And then you can choose a data group for this card as well. Okay, so this is how you add a new user and create the uh, schedule and also how to uh, assign them to each access group or data group. Okay, for the next live demo, I'll show you how you can set up a PTZ camera to go to one of its uh, presets when uh, access is granted. You can go either go to the uh, GVMVR if you have one, or you can use the uh, camera web UI. OK, 
okay so if you are using uh, GVMVR you go to uh, this enable the PDZ panel here let's say I want the uh, camera to uh, go to this door when access is granted so I can set up the uh, PDZ preset here so let's say I set it to uh, PDZ preset 1 okay have it go back to the home point and then uh, go to uh, GVAS manager here so I have to map the uh, camera to this door first so go to uh, settings right click okay so here you can map the cameras let's say I'm mapping it to uh, MVR so camera 2 LPR camera 2 okay okay so this is the uh, live view of the uh, camera and then you go to tools notifications here you can choose uh, access granted to uh, sales department 2 choose the uh, door tree just now that we mapped the camera to and then click on this one trigger preset for the camera one of that door so preset one was what we set just now at the uh, GVMVR okay click apply okay so now when you swipe the card at the uh, GVAS manager the camera will move to the door that we set as the uh, preset one just now as you can see here for the second part of the uh, live demo I'll demonstrate how you can uh, add no fingerprints in uh, AS manager uh, how you can synchronize your fingerprints that you enrolled to uh, fingerprint readers and also how you can do some uh, queries in uh, AS web next I'll teach you how to enroll fingerprint in uh, GVAS manager go to personnel here users so just choose any user so let's say this one go to fingerprint here so uh, I'm using a uh, Joe finger GF1922 to uh, enroll the fingerprint and it's connected through TCP IP so uh, choose TCP IP here for the uh, connection type and then do a search okay you search for all the uh, Joe finger in the LAN so this is the uh, GF1922 choose this and then click here enroll fingerprints okay so once I input my fingerprint at the uh, fingerprint reader swipe it twice okay the fingerprint is added so next you also have to uh, assign the uh, card to the fingerprint okay so this is how you add a uh, fingerprint and roll it to uh, AS manager okay next let me demonstrate how you can sync the uh, fingerprints that you enroll with your fingerprint reader so you can use your fingerprint to uh, open the doors uh, first make sure the uh, tools servers here Joe finger server is enabled next go to setup here uh, go to fingerprint access so let's say I want the uh, fingerprint to be able to open door 1 on uh, GVAS 810 controller so this is the uh, fingerprint that you enroll just now select it and then click on add okay close next uh, click on door 1 here right click sync Joe finger okay so once the sync is done then you can use your fingerprint on the door one reader to open the door demonstrate how you can use the AS web to remotely connect to AS manager okay first go to AS manager tools servers make sure the uh, web server is running in AS manager okay, next go to your IE browser here type in the IP address of the uh, AS manager and then enter you'll come to this page click on AS web type in your AS manager login details so this is the uh, UI of AS web so here you can check lots of uh, different information like the uh, controller status and also DAW status here okay uh, you can also check the uh, camera list if you have cameras mapped in uh, AS manager you can also check the uh, live view of the uh, cameras so let's say click here live video I want to check the uh, live view of one of the DAWs in AS manager so this is the uh, live view from the camera you can also check your access log here okay so these are all the uh, access events granted here you can click this for a snapshot of the uh, event you can also click this for a playback here we have some filters that you can use to do some search so for example I want to check uh, access granted for which door so you can also set a period of time and then click search okay so these are the uh, some of the uh,
queries that you can do in AS Web. For the uh, third part of the live demo, I'll show you how you can uh, configure AS Remote, how you can set up uh, tier web, and also how you can generate reports for our payroll, uh, how to set up a uh, VM web. Next, I'll demonstrate how to uh, configure uh, AS Remote. So first, go to AS Manager, Tools, Servers, make sure the uh, Remote Monitor server is enabled. Uh, then, uh, run the uh, AS Remote application, right-click here, you can add a host here, type in the uh, host name, and then the IP address of the uh, AS Manager, the login, and make sure the port is uh, correct, and then here, click Add, okay, take this, click OK, and then right click on this, click on Connect. Okay, so here you are connected to uh, GVAS Manager remotely. So this is the uh, first reader ID one, uh, GVAS810, and it has two doors enabled, like in uh, AS Manager. And here you can remotely unlock the door or force lock the doors. You can also see a uh, live view and playback here. Okay. Okay, next I'll demonstrate how you can uh, set up a tier web. So same, go to your IE browser, type in the IP address of uh, AS Manager. You come to this page, click on uh, tier web, type in your AS Manager login details, login, okay. Next, uh, go to your TA shift, set up a shift. Okay, so let's say I add one for uh, FAE. Uh, start work time, let's say it's uh, from 9 to uh, 6 p.m. So advanced period is the uh, period that you are allowed to uh, arrive for work early. So let's say I set it at uh, one and a half hours. Uh, extended period, this is the uh, total amount of time that the uh, employee is allowed to work overtime. So let's say I set it at three hours. And then the uh, overtime buffer period is the uh, time buffer that uh, starts the account for the overtime pay after the end work time. So let's say I set it at 30 minutes. So overtime pay will start counting at uh, 6.30 p.m. Okay, so you can also set the break time here. So let's say from uh, 12 to 1.30 is the uh, first break. And then you have the uh, second break time that you can set to. So let's say at 3 to 3.30 p.m. That's the uh, second break. Okay, click saved. Okay. Next, go to uh, TA template to apply the shift. So let me add a template let's say for FAE, so this is the uh, recurring days, so let's say for a period of seven days, uh, and I can uh, include holidays if I want. Okay, so let's say I choose uh, FAE, the shift that I just created just now. Okay. So here in the description you can type Okay, click on save. Okay, so the uh, template is created. Okay, next uh, you have to set up your TA holiday if you want to include uh, holidays. So click here. So let's say there's a public holiday on uh, September the 21st. So I click this. Click add holiday. You can just type in the uh, public holiday or whatever festival that is. Okay. Okay, done. Okay, next go to uh, TA schedule to assign the template you created to the uh, employees. Okay, so choose uh, FA department. I want to assign the FA template. Click on assign template. Okay, choose the FA template. Okay, choose whichever day you want to start the uh, template. Okay, you can override the original schedule or you can keep the original one just to overlap this one. So this, since this is a new one, I'll just click uh, overwrite the original. And then I'll apply this to the uh, FA department. Click OK. So as you can see here, the uh, shift uh, and the template is uh, assigned to the FA employees here. So how do you uh, generate a TA report? So for example, I want to check the uh, daily time card, uh, what time the employee is coming today. So let's say I can double click on daily time card. And I can choose the date here. 
Okay, select the departments. I want to select all. Okay, click on run. Okay, here you can see the uh, punch in and punch out time of all the employees on this day. You can also save this report as something like a bookmark. So in the future, you can just double click and you'll be able to see this report instantly without uh, doing all the uh, configuration again. You can also export the report in a CSV file, HTML file, or PDF file format. Okay. As you can see here, here are some of the uh, reports that I saved. So you can double click, it's a daily time card. Okay. So this is the uh, report that I saved early on. You can just double click and view it instantly. We also have a pie chart for average hour summary, exception summary, and a payroll summary. So let's take a look at exception summaries. This is one that I uh, created early on. Okay, so these are the exceptions like uh, in late, in early, uh, out late, or missed punch. Okay, you can also do some filters like uh, in late or over hours, over time. Click on run. Okay, so here you can see the filters. So this is how you can do a TA report for TA web. Okay, next I'll demonstrate how to use VM web. Use your IE browser, type in the IP address of the S manager here. Okay, you come to this page, click on uh, VM web, type in the uh, login details here. Okay, so if you want to set up your mail server, you can set it here, system settings, visitor web. Okay, so this is where you can set up your mail server. Okay, so let's say today I want to manually add a visitor here. Click on new. Okay, click OK. Okay, so this is a visitor. I can click on new here, demands for visit manually. So let's say I'm arriving uh, at uh, 6 p.m. Okay, and then uh, click on uh, permit here. You can assign a visitor card. So this is the uh, card that it's created in AS Manager for visitors. Click here. Here you can choose uh, when you want to deactivate the card. You can either user define the time, or you can choose like uh, one hour later, or maybe all day. You can uh, go in and enter and exit all day. Okay. So double click on this card to assign, click on update. Okay, so to manually check out, you can double click on this, click on check out, and then click update. So this is how you can manually uh, assign a visitor card to a visitor. You can also export the uh, visitor records using a CSV file format. Just click on export, okay, period, okay, and then you can save the file. Thank you. For the uh, final part of the live demo, I'll teach you how to uh, recover AS Manager's database if it's uh, corrupted, how you can uh, configure and also remotely view your uh, AS Manager status with a GVSS mobile application, and lastly, how to set up a remote lockdown application so uh, you can remotely lock down all the doors in case of uh, emergencies. Next, I'll demonstrate how to uh, recover your database uh, in case it's uh, corrupted. Go to uh, Windows Explorer, uh, C Drive, Access Control, AS Manager folder, search for an application called ASDB Manager. This one, uh, run it. Okay, click on this one, AS Manager Database Settings. Here, you can either uh, back up your database, export it to somewhere, or you can recover it uh, from the file that you exported. Uh, you can also select uh, compact database. This is to uh, repair the uh, database in case it's also corrupted but still repairable. Okay, now I'll introduce how you can uh, set up the uh, GVSS to remotely connect to uh, GVAS manager. Okay, so as, as you can see, this is the uh, GVSS UI. So click on uh, config, and then click on this plus to add a new service. Type in the uh, AS manager name. and then the IP address of the uh, ES manager and then uh, type in the login 
Okay, so once it's added, you can see the uh, status of uh, all the doors here. So as you can see on this UI, you can check on the uh, status of the uh, doors here. So as you can see on uh, door 4, you, it's a uh, remote force lock. You can also see the uh, alarm and uh, access deny icon lighting up in red. Okay, you can also check on the uh, live view of the door by clicking on here. So door 3. Okay, this is the uh, live view of the door with the uh, alarm status here. You can also remotely control your door here. Okay, you can uh, remote uh, unlock your door, force unlock, uh, force lock, or disable lockdown, or even remotely lock down. Okay. You can uh, also just uh, directly uh, unlock your door by clicking here. Okay, the same options for the uh, remote door lock or unlock will be here. You can also check on uh, LPR here. Let's say you have two lanes, you can also check the uh, live view by uh, clicking here. Okay, so this is the uh, live view of the uh, LPR camera. You can also remotely uh, unlock the gate here. Okay. So uh, these are the uh, main functions of uh, GVSS. Next, I'll demonstrate how to uh, use the uh, lockdown app that you can download from uh, our website to uh, remotely lock down all the doors in AS Manager. Okay, so first, go to AS Manager, Tools, Servers. Make sure the uh, remote monitor server is enabled. Okay, then go to uh, the lockdown app here. Click on this, add host. Type in your host name for AS Manager. The uh, IP address of AS Manager. Okay, make sure the port is matching the uh, remote monitor server port in AS Manager. Type in the uh, login information. Okay. Okay, so here the app is uh, connected to AS Manager. So in case there is an emergency and you need to lock down all the doors, just click on this icon, lock down. Okay, so in AS Manager here, you can see that all the doors are remotely locked down. So how to unlock the doors? Go click here, you can right click, disable dollar operation, and the doors will be back to normal. This is the end of the video tutorial. If you need more product information, you can go to our website at www.jovision.com.tw. If you have any technical questions and you need our help, you can also email them to support at jovision.com.tw. Thank you.